How you doing there, folks? Got a new toy in the shop. Uh, I don't know how much of a toy you'd call it. Uh, it's a pretty serious chainsaw. This is the Steel MS661C. Um, this has what's called an electronic carburetor on it. And from what I'm being told, there is three different systems that still used uh, the 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 electronic carburetor system. This is the 3.0, and apparently 1.0 and 2.0, the relearn system on, for the carburetor was uh, pretty extensive. You had to hook it up to some kind of little computer. Um, not user friendly at all. The 3.0, on the other hand, requires none of that. Uh, it's, I, it's, uh, still, guy told me that it's kind of, um, they don't want you necessarily giving the information out. They want you to bring it back to steel and do the carburetor relearn there and be able to, you know, just some other maintenance piece to charge you for, I guess. Who knows if he's lying or not. Um, but to do the carburetor relearn, um, Basically, all you're going to do on the back of the carburetor, you have a off, on, and a triangle setting now. Um, you're going to flip it over to the triangle setting. On the bigger saws, you have a compression detent right here. Um, you're going to flip it over to the triangle setting or start it up. On the ground, put your foot down in the well here because it's going to jump around. Let it just sit there and idle. Do not give it any gas. Let it run like that for about 30 seconds to a minute. You will hear the carburetor um, adjusting, and it'll raise the RPM, lower the RPM, do all that kind of good stuff. <clears throat> After about a minute, then keep it on the ground. Keep your foot in the, in the well here, and wide open throttle. And you will hear it. It'll run up pretty high um, and then you'll hear it start adjusting itself and the main thing is what you're going to listen for is for it to just sound like it's going to go through the roof 13,000 rpms something around that range um, it's going to run really really high you'll you'll hear it air out and go up to that really high running setting and it seemed like it ran there at that high setting for i don't know a minute and a half two minutes um, and you, this is where it's important. You're paying attention to it. As soon as it opens the needle back up and brings the RPM back down, the relearn process is over. It's finished. You can let off of it and then go to work. Um, essentially, you're going to want to do this relearn process anytime you um, say you. All right, sorry about that. You're going to want to do this relearn process. Uh, anytime you say, um, say you ran it in the winter time, it was um, low 30s, uh, hell even colder up north, um, 20s, whatever. And then you put it up and you don't run it again, and it's a pretty drastic temperature change. Say the next time you get it out, you're in the 90s. Uh, you would want to, at that time, do a carburetor relearn. Um, if you travel and change altitudes, Say you live down closer to sea level and you go on a trip up north and for some reason you're taking a saw that has this electronic carburetor on it, um, change in elevation, it's going to require it to lean it out some, you'll want to do this carburetor relearn. Um, you can do them as often as you want to, it does not hurt the saw at all, it's actually going to make it run a little bit better. Um, if you're using it constantly, uh, throughout the temperature changes, um, it should gradually keep up with you and uh, shouldn't be necessary. Mainly the relearn is going to be when you uh, use it in really cold weather or really hot weather and then you put it up and you don't use it again for a few months and you have a pretty drastic temperature change. At that point you'd want to do a carburetor relearn. Um, so that's it. Simple video. I'm not going to start it up and do it do it for you because it's. I'm sure it's not going to pick up well even on a microphone or anything like that. But um, that is going to be the electronic carburetor relearn. This works on the 3.0 system. Um, other
of the newer steel chainsaws. Alrighty, folks, have a good one.